Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick uh, insight and some thoughts about uh, Faceware Studio. So if you're new to my channel, I welcome you and I kindly ask that uh, you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. And to everyone who has subscribed so far, I am so, so grateful for your support. Uh, so I'm picking up on an tutorial that I've done for Faceware Studio. And today I want to share some best practices and like what kind of videos work best in Faceware Studio uh, for facial animation. So I've done some tests and I, I mean, I've been, there are some hits and misses for sure. And I wanted to share with you guys, uh, you know, some things that you may want to keep in mind if you're hoping to use Faceware Studio for creating facial animation for your character. And the reason I again, I talk about this, some of these uh, features is because we as indie film developers and uh, storytellers, I mean, we, it's always important for us to know what tools there are out there on the market and how to utilize them. And for I, for one, I'm always on the, on, in the lookout for, you know, new uh, programs that come up and that can help us in our storytelling journey. Okay, so here's a video that I have. It looks beautiful. And one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, for Faceware Studio to work really well, you need an establishing shot, like a, a one shot that is looking straight into the camera. Because this, cam this uh, character, for example, this actor, this is a stock footage uh, from Envato. If you have a membership, you can get like a free uh, access to all these videos so you can test out for yourselves. So these are royalty free, so you're not going to be sued. <laughs> it's, it's important to remember that uh, uh, actors de do deserve to be paid for their work. But if you want to test, if you want to try out some of these features, I recommend that you get stock footage. And I, for one, I'm using a, a membership on uh, Envato and I get access to all these uh, royalty free videos. Uh, just as a disclaimer. <laughs> okay. And uh, some that, actually, that's one of the reasons I do some of my own acting because I'm not yet a big studio and I can't afford to pay like high caliber actors. So I tend to do my own acting for the short films that I do. And I, I recommend you try that as, a, as well. But to get like a range of uh, like an idea of how this program works well, I think it's important for you to have a uh, a variety of videos and so today i'm gonna even i'm gonna try to test with one of my other 3d animated characters to see if a 3d animated character can actually drive another character in uh, faceware studio but first uh, let's talk about this shot right here so it's important for you to find a neutral pose and like for example i'm gonna find i'm gonna try to find a shot like where her mouth is closed and where she's not talking right because that's the one that is going to be necessary. So for example, that shot, right? It looks uh, very neutral. But the problem is that if I click on calibrate, and I'm actually, I've set it to optimize real time. To So if your footage is a high, like HD uh, 1920 by 1080, I recommend that you click this button right here to optimize for real time so that it can track the the footage very well and it also helps that if you have like if you're doing your own uh, mock-up facial mock-up it's it recommended that you do some makeup specific to so it can tr be tracked better okay so if you have like pale lips you don't want them blending into your skin so that it fails to find the line where the <laughs> lip is closed so i'm going to click calibrate neutral pause and you see it processing up at the top and again depending on how fast your machine is this may take a little bit of time or it might take forever now. See how it says calibration failed. And that's because this character, this actor is facing to the right or my right or the right of the screen. And so the program has a tough time, even though you can see that her lips are closed and her lips and her eyes are straight, are looking, are open. You, it, it seems to need a, 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 a pause that is facing the camera. So I try to go all the way. So when you're recording, if you have a, an actor that you've paid, uh, please, please remind them to always look, face the camera, you know, straight in the camera. And that's if you don't have a head mounted camera system. So this is for a stationary camera, right? So down here, if you have like a professional head cam, for sure, that character is always going to be looking forward and looking straight forward. Now, when they're looking forward, 
there's also something else that you have to keep in mind. So I'm going to pick up another video and I'm going to try to use my own 3D character that I did. And so he's looking forward, you know, following up on the idea of the character always has to look forward. But if the face is not lit very well, so if I, this is a neutral pose, you know, so if I click calibrate on the pose, it will go through and process and then it fails. And that's because this eye is in the shadow and the eyebrows are so down. So the program is failing to calibrate, I mean, to locate where those major facial features are. And so even if I were to go like, like right here and I calibrate, and it still fails so these are the, i mean this is one of the reasons why i'm doing these uh, best practices is that they has to be like a, a really convincing neutral pose so even if the character is facing forward like if you have a head mounted camera that you use to record the footage it's important for them to be well lit okay so let's bring up another video and it's time let's try one that's actually well lit and it's big this character this actor okay so we're gonna find uh, a neutral pause and you always find one where the lips are closed right there st looking straight forward this is very well lit because you can see the eyelids very nicely and the lips top lip and bottom and top lip and calibrate the pause and it did it in, uh, in microseconds actually it didn't even take long and so here using the uh my right mouse button i'm able to click on and pan around and the middle mouse button you're able to zoom in and zoom out and with the left mouse button i'm able to rotate okay so you can position this so that you can see the car uh, this character better so right now if we play back so it is tracking nicely and even the sometimes when when because our faces are not really symmetrical you see that uh, one eye will close more than the other and that's what you want you want the program to be able to capture but look how nicely captured and tracked this is you know even when he does the lips did you see that did you notice that look at that that's really cool right that's so it's able to track how you, the mouth presses and so this, I mean, you can still go ahead and refine a lot of this in the animation, like mouth press and all that. But to start with, it's important to have a, a foundation of a good uh, video and uh, also a neutral pose. So this is nicely traced. And so even if he has his hand on his uh, cheek right here when he's talking in the, on the phone, it still captures because the main tracking features of the lips, the nose, the eyebrows are, are not covered. Okay. So let's try something else. Uh, this time, let's bring up uh, this uh, actress. So here's another one. Uh, this is fairly well lit, but you notice something here. I think you can get, gather on what I'm trying to say. Is that you, the hair is covering her eye just a tiny bit. And if it's not pulled back, that can be a problem. And let's go ahead and calibrate. So this is her neutral pose. Let's go through and see if we can find... A frame she has like the extreme um, motions in during her performance so at the beginning here is probably the best neutral pose so we'll go ahead and calibrate neutral pose and seconds it took seconds for rather microseconds actually for her to be calibrated now the problem is if you look over here the her hair is not pinned back so when you pl play back it's really capturing everything nicely but then, you know this, uh, so it's tracking, see how the eyebrow is kind of pressed a little bit in here because this one is full. So that can be a challenge, is that it does a beautiful job of tracking the lips and the nose and the mouth and the eyes and the eyebrows. But this eyebrow here is, uh, you can see how it shortens it. So it's important to tell your actress a female actor to pull back her hair and when they're doing the the tracking or rather the performance but i mean this is the power of a uh, <laughs> face wear studio <laughs> and like it really does a good job if you find an, a really good neutral pose because it needs that to be able to uh, track and also to be able to analyze the rest of the frames and how well to animate all of them and you can see that that's really cool 
yeah all right so let's do another video uh this time let's try this one similar you know kind of short but with that this time her hair is overshadowing a lot of it so we're gonna try her face we're gonna find a neutral pose and this one has a similar pose with the other gentleman the other actor that had a phone in his hand she has a phone in her hand as well so let's try to calibrate find a pose where the mouth okay that's said the mouth is closed calibrate and it did it so it captured the pose nicely and then we play back so it tracks the eyes the emotion then something happens that is a problem right there because now they it's struggling to find the eye and you can actually see the result here so this is a good case study where when the eye is occluded it doesn't work very well so it finds and even here you can see it's moving here so it's trying and it did like half the face because here <laughs> the phone is covering it so those are things to to you know to think about when you're you know directing your talent the actor that please try to pull back the hair try not to cover your lips because those are going to be so at some point even it just gives up when they it doesn't find the landmarks that are supposed to be tracked so he does a good job but then then the problems occur because the phone and it's very i mean it's tempting for you to the character to try to put the phone you know that's the natural way we talk when we're talking on the phone it can be a problem so hair is an issue you definitely have to pull back the hair and also occlusion of the mouth and the eyes is a problem if you do if your voice actor is doing that so and then i think uh last but, but not least glasses okay so let's try to find uh this character here and we're gonna find let's put back a guy in his place here and we're gonna do uh, this is a neutral pose that's perfect and this is a doctor you know it's very professional uh, it's gonna give you some advice i hope it's not COVID. <laughs> it's not even a laughing matter for what is happening on the with this pandemic man but hopefully it's gonna give you news that you're you're not positive okay and you're not gonna die that's what we, we want all of us to be alive to pursue our dreams so he's a doctor he's gonna give us some good news and we're gonna click calibrate and right away we get a nice neutral pause and the eyes are being tracked behind glasses and that's i think because there's no glare it does a very good job but now the challenge is that the eyebrows are right under the rim of the glasses and that can be a problem so let me play back so because the rims of the glasses are in the way it kind of tries to find it but then at some point because they are curved and they almost match the shape of the eyebrows that's what it tracks that it tracks the rims of the, you know, the glasses and so you're missing out on some of the expressions but still doing a good job and so the glasses because there's no glare you don't get that uh, problem because it's kind of a, a straight on shot it does a very good job of that okay so let me try my a character of mine that i did and this is the i think the last test i'm gonna do uh glasses okay with uh, some reflection and also so this is the chance for us to see if another 3d character can tr uh, drive another 3d character in facewear studio i left this for last because it's kind of fun but also to, uh, to the thought of i mean through the idea of glasses being a problem let's try to find uh let's see and this is where uh, this i acted out this part actually this is me <laughs> playing this role this character was in, uh, inspired by pastor jerome from far cry 5. I, th there was a, a really cool trailer that was done by the blast studio team and so that's what inspired me to create this like i've been to the, the asian back i've been asked many times so anyway so let's find a neutral pause let's try it like right there let's see if we can calibrate that so that was in instantaneous so it's trying and let me see if i can actually increase this so it's trying to track the eyebrows which it does a good job but let's play back and see what it did so there it goes 
So, first, <laughs> good news, another 3D character can drive another 3D character. So, I mean, how, how would you even apply that? So, for example, if your talent just never came back, <laughs> right? But you, you have the, you lost the footage, the original footage. This is how you would, uh, I guess, use the character that you captured, if it's really done well, to drive future, I guess, edits and for you to be able to refine them, okay? So, no, I don't think it's going to track that one. But it's a good reminder for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. <laughs> and so you're alerted when I post a new video. So again, guys, uh, I hope this was helpful. And I thank you so much for your support. But uh, as always, I'm always going to find ways. Uh, so here's a chance. <laughs> see his eyes. So this is where the glasses kind of uh, fail sometimes, you know, because it, this shirt, it failed to track it properly. And so you would need to find a really good, uh, like, neutral pause because the glasses are, are kind of causing all kinds of issues. And sometimes, um, you see how it's struggling right there? Like, uh, and the eyes, it's, it's not even, like, even if I try to recalibrate right now, it tries to fix that part, but then in other places, it's, you're going to have problems still, you know? So that's why it's important that if you do like, <clears throat> if you're working with a talent, a voice actor, uh, please pay, pay attention to how you're uh, shooting your videos and how you're recording, uh, whether it's a head cam or head mounted camera system. And uh, definitely <laughs> glasses are not, uh, uh, not a good idea. Try to uh, have the actor remove the glasses and make sure if, if you do glasses and there's no way to get any other footage, uh, I, I guess try not to have like glare and try not to have glasses that have like curved and they look like eyebrows because it's going to try to track that as part of the eyebrows. Okay. And it's also creating like a plane which the eyes kind of pop forward and back. So that's another, that's uh, one way to, I guess, to consider which is a good uh, f uh, like take of a foot uh, of your actor to record or not. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, I hope this was uh, helpful. And please, uh, in, there's a trial version for Faceware Studio. So when you get a chance, give it keep, give it a try and get some uh, stock footage to test with or to even record yourself. But as always, uh, try to find uh, like straight on shots, not actors that are looking off to the side. And I think one more video that I wanted to try out before we go was this one. So this is also at an angle. So sometimes it works, okay? So it's not always that it's going to fail, but if it's straight enough, it's flat enough, you know, like I am going to find a neutral pause for her, this actor. Like I'm going to try this one, calibrate. So it found her landmark features. And if we play back, you can see that it's tracking her emotions, even when she's looking down. So it's not always that the character has to look off to the side, as long as there's this a plane, like a flat on uh, kind of, because this one failed. We tried several times to find a, a static, like a neutral pose and it wasn't working. But if you look at this one, it's working because it kind of, it's far off. It was short. This looks like a more than a hundred millimeter lens. So it kind of flattens the face out. So it's easier for Faceware Studio to record. And so I hope that's, again, that helps. I needed to point that out before I leave. So thank you so much, guys. <laughs> I pray you, you're you doing well. Uh, stay safe. Uh, please wear a mask. I don't know. Um, right now, of course, when as I'm recording this video, we're going through a pandemic. And I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying that you're still pursuing your dream. Please don't give up on your dream no matter what. And I, as always, I encourage you to take time to put something towards uh, pursuing your dream to bring it to action. Never give up, guys. And as always, I'll continue to find ways to encourage you, to inspire you with uh, you know new tools that come up. And I kindly ask that you subscribe you know hit that notification bell click like it helps with the algorithm of uh, youtube and as always thank you for your support uh see you next time with another insight and please <laughs> as you're working with your talent just keep in mind that uh it is important to stay straight and look in the camera and pull back the hair no glasses 
you get good results in our Faceware Studio and other programs that are track faces uh, using camera systems. So thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,